Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to do Rachel's Challenge. And it was using envelopes, window to envelopes, to make little flips in your journal. Now I have a few envelopes here. I didn't realize I was getting so low on these, but I think I have more out in the garage. I'll have to go out there and get them. But uh, I thought I would use this big one first. It's got a big window in it. Now this is way too tall for a, my regular journal because this is almost 10 inches. So I'm going to cut it off to, probably going to cut it off to about six and a half. I can save that little part. I can make a pocket out of that. Now, my top part is already sealed. So I'm going to cut the other end. I'm probably going to do mine a little bit different than Rachel, but they're still going to be the same basic thing. So that's already sealed up, so I want to cut an opening there. There we go. Now this is going to be the front, and then I'm going to have this part to be a tuck. So in other words, it'll glue down in my journal like this, and this, and this, and then that'll be a tuck. But I want to cut it down a little bit. I don't want my tuck to be quite that big. I think Rachel did hinge some of hers so that they would be a tuck, but I'm just going to use this part of this instead of trying to hinge them. And I'm also going to be using her digitals. Both of these are her Easter digitals, and I thought I need to start on some Easter journals, so why not use her digitals? Oh, okay. Now which part I need to cover. I'm going to have to cover the inside and the outside of this. And I'd like to get a rabbit on there, but I don't know if he's going to make it on that one. I think I will. Let me see. I think I'm going to use the little rabbit over here because this is going to be the part that shows that's going to be the tuck. So I'm going to cover it, and I'm not going to go, I'm going to try not to anyway, go past, I need a pencil somewhere, I don't want to go past my fold, because I don't want to, it to be hard to fold, and I'm just going to try my best to tear this pretty straight. And Rachel is Roxy Creations on Etsy if you're looking for these digitals. I will link her channel, her YouTube channel, and then she has her Etsy store linked below that. So let's go over and check her out. She's got beautiful digitals. I'm going to grab my little grungy mat here because I'm probably going to be using my glue stick because I printed this on regular copy paper. Okay. Isn't that little rabbit cute? <laughs> he is a cutie. Rachel's husband helps her with her digitals and I think that is so sweet. He does a good job and she does too. <clears throat> Alright, so that is that part covered. And now we need to cover this and the outside here. Now I'm going to have to refold that because it looks like I went almost too far over. But I'm going to wait till that glue dries and it'll it'll be fine. So now we don't need to cover this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put me an X here because that's going to glue down to the page. But we do need to cover here. Now you can collage this or you can use just straight paper to do the whole thing. It doesn't matter. I think she collaged some of hers and some of hers she did a different way. Um, it doesn't matter. Whatever is easiest for you. 
Now I'm trying to tear just a little bitty bit of that off to give that kind of a rough edge. I didn't do so great, but that is that is the way I roll. Okay. Now we're gonna put that there. And then I'll probably just cut it off. I started to mark it, but I think I'll just cut it off. Now I'm gonna ink around the edges of my window. I just think it makes it look a little bit more finished, but you don't have to do that. Keep that in mind. That's my preference. Some people say, I can't do what you do because I, I don't ink, or I can't do what you do because I don't uh, stitch. Well, you know, you can. You just have to do it a different way. It doesn't matter. Get that little bit of glue off of my window there. You do not have to do it exactly like I do it. As a matter of fact, it's probably a whole lot better if you don't do it exactly like I do it. <laughs> okay. And there is that. And let's go ahead and trim this. Oh, I'm, I need to go ahead and tell you guys the March E-Club kits are going to be a few days late this time and the reason being is our boxes that we ship them in have still not come in we ordered them three weeks ago and we still haven't got them so I don't know what the holdup is I don't know what's going on with I get them from Amazon I have no idea what's going on with Amazon but anyway I wanted to let you guys know because you know we try our best not to be late but sometimes you just can't help it Sometimes you just can't help it. I think I'll just put that little piece down there. That's just the little piece of scrap I had laying on my desk. So please be patient with us. I, we should be able to get them out by Friday. We're hoping. If the boxes come in. Because we ship those in boxes as you know. Um... We don't ship them in bags because, you know, the paper in them, we don't want that paper to bend in the embellishments. So we're going to try our best to get them out. Well, we'll ha we've got them ready. They'll go out just as soon as the boxes get here. We'll just, we'll, everybody will jump in and start putting them in the boxes as soon as they come through the door. But I did want to let you guys know that. I'm going to put that off just a little bit and trim it. Because today is normally the day that they go out on the 6th. Well, yesterday actually, on the 6th. But um, sometimes it can't be helped. Sometimes it's just everything is out of our control. It's like somebody wanted me to guarantee them that their order would be to them on X, X, X day. Well, like I told them, there's no way I can guarantee that. We can send it out as soon as you place your order, but that doesn't mean that it's going to get to you because we don't know what the post office does with, you know, certain things. I mean, they, sometimes they hold things up and so we can't control it once it gets out of our hands. So I, all I said was, you know, we'll do everything that we can do, but I can't guarantee you that the post office is going to do everything that they can do. You know, I have seen packages that we have shipped from Alabama to Georgia, and they would go by way of California, you know. <laughs> Not that we put that address on there, but just that that's what the post office did. So, it's like I said, we can't guarantee certain things. I can guarantee you that we're going to get the packages out, but I can't guarantee you what the post office is going to do. I never know these days. Sometimes we wait on packages forever it seems like I'm just folding that over I'm hoping I put all of that the right way up 
And then I just need a piece down through here, right there. So, that's a piece of vellum. That's pretty, but I'm not going to use that there. I'll use something else. And I think I'll just grab another piece of this. Yeah, let's put a piece of that right there. Thank goodness I can print this again. Because I love this paper. Okay, let's see. That will work right there. And then we'll just trim off what we don't need. Let's let that come up to there, and I think I'm going to put a little bit of ink there. And then I'm going to tear it off about right here. Now this is just a piece. It's not the whole thing. <laughs> I try to tell this every time that I use this because I always have somebody that asks. This is a piece of our craft mat that we sell. And the reason I say it's a piece is because this is probably about 15 years old. And I accidentally, accidentally cut mine a long time ago. I didn't mean to, but I cut it. And so the one that I cut, I just cut it down in some smaller pieces that I could keep on my desk. So that's why it is small. Because somebody said, is it that small? Is that craft mat that small? No, the craft mat is huge. It's big. But um, this is just a small portion of it. Alright, so what are we going to do here? I'm still wanting to use that vellum. Even though you can see through it, but I'm not going to use it because I'm going to try to grab something else over here. That piece is pretty goes with that pink over there. I was going to use that for a belly band, but I think I won't now. So, let's see. Where do I need to? I need to tear it first. And the reason that I use my craft pieces of my craft mat to glue on is because I can take this and wash it when I finish and it's just as good as it was the day that it was made well other than as you can see this one's so old I've got stains all over it but all of the glue comes off when you take it and wash it that's what I'm trying to say I'm not doing so good talking and crafting at the same time all right let's see about where we want to cut that or tear it about right there Maybe that's the right width. Yeah, that'll work. And I think I'm going to let this top part be the part that goes on here and kind of save part of these flowers for something else. Don't you know what, but we'll see. I'm so used to looking up at my viewfinder when I'm videoing. <laughs> I keep looking up there and there's nothing there. Because <laughs> this camera that I have, I can't get it to hook up to my computer like I did the other one. So I don't know what the deal is with it. Hopefully it's recording. I'm sure somebody that's smarter than me could get it to hook up, but I get frustrated too easy. Okay, I'm just going to trim that off. And then trim this little bit down through here. Now, because I used 
glue stick. You can see that there's a, a few little bubbles here and there. Not bubbles, but it's a little bit of ripple. But when that dries, it'll dry flat. I'll put something over it. And I don't fold it until everything dries well. But this will glue down. As a matter of fact, we're going to go ahead and punch our pull in here. So that will glue down to my page. Let's say this is my page. That would glue down there. So you would have a tuck here and then this is going to fold over. So I still need to cover some more. I don't know why I thought I was finished. Let me think. And I can't remember, did Rachel, did she put pockets on hers? Did she make them into pockets? I don't remember. Do you? Okay, let's put this little piece, and this is just another little scrap that's laying on my desk. I started to throw that piece of scrap in my ink instead of the garbage. Yeah, let's put that there. I don't remember if Rachel made this part into a pocket. We could, but I don't remember if she did that or not. It's been a few days ago since I watched her video. I guess I'll have to go back and look at it again. Okay, now that's a little bit shy. You can see that front one on there a little bit, but that's fine. It, it doesn't bother me. So then we need something down through here and across here. And I might just go with that there and then I'll bring that one all the way down. So a good way to use up your scraps if you're going to collage it like this. If you're not, then you can use just a full sheet of paper and just leave an opening for your window, or you can cover your window over. It doesn't matter. We need a little piece down through here, and I don't think I have anything long enough, a scrap, so I'm probably gonna have to Cut into another piece of paper, maybe. Oh, wait, I got this piece. Oh, but wait, because I don't want to put more flowers up against that, so I'm going to use this little piece. And this is just another scrap that I had laying on my desk. If it lays on my desk, it gets used. <laughs> Let's see, what about? Is that about wide enough? Looks good to me. I probably cut it too short. No, 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 I did not. Okay. So let's ink the inside closest to the window. Oh, I'm scraping the bottom on my glue. I think I have another one here somewhere. Oops, we need to scoot that over some. That's better. Now this bottom piece shows a little bit right there, but what I'll do is put a label or something there just to keep that from showing through like it is. All right, let's see if I can fold it. Maybe. And I maybe should wait, but I don't want to. Okay. All right. Okay, we didn't get a bubble. We're good. Oh, our rabbit shows through. 
That's cute. <laughs> I didn't plan that, but it's cute. Now I'm going to round my corners because I don't like that point there. Again, I don't know that Rachel did this. I, I don't even know. She may have made hers into pockets for all I know. We're just uh, playing it by ear right now. Okay. That is cute with that little rabbit showing through there. All right, I'm gonna put, find something and put right there because that's bugging me, it's showing too much. So, let's find us a label. I don't have any Easter labels that I know of gonna have to be a long one. Oh, uh, we could put that there always and forever. Not necessarily Easter, but I think it's cute with that little rabbit. Let's put that on there. I'm gonna get a wipey because my hands are so sticky. It's the only thing about glue stick. I get it all over me. Okay, and I think I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my art glitter glue for this. I'm just gonna put that right across there. And that will cover up that little piece that was showing. He's a cutie. And then I'm going to ink this. Now, if I wanted to make this into a pocket, I could. I could put a little piece down here and then have a tag that would slide in there. But I kind of like that, just like that. Um, let's just say, let's do this. Here is my journal page. And I would glue that down right at the fold. Here, here, and here. That would be my little tuck. And then that would fold over. Okay, I went back and looked at her video, and she didn't make these into any kind of pocket. They're just like flip outs, so I'm going to leave it like this. If we decide later on when we put it in our journal that we want this to be a pocket, I can always put a little piece here and still have a tag to slide in there. But I think that's cute just like it is, so we're going to lay that one aside. I don't think it needs any more embellishing on it. All right, let's grab another one. Um, this one's really got a big window, so let's do that one. I don't mind the big windows. And again, I'm going to cut it down to about six and a half. Save that for a pocket. And then we'll open up this end. And... Let's see, I'm going to cut this off. And then I'm going to trim this down. Let's see, take this little piece off. Okay, so I've got this one ready to go. I'm going to take my wipey and go over that just a little bit and clean up a little bit of that glue that's on there so we'll be ready to go again. All right, let's see. I think I might want to do this one this way and have the tuck here. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and cover this. It seems like if I cover this first, it helps me a little bit. I don't know why. Don't have a clue. But let's be mindful of what we put there, and then it'll show through. Oh, I like that. Look at that. I like that. Now, all of that, of course, is not going to be on there because this is a shorter. 
Hmm, this is a shorter little pocket, but I can tear some of this off on this side. And I'm just going to, I'll tear this down and then I'll use this piece on the sides. So that will work. So then, let's see, if we cover it there, it's going to go to here. Okay. Um, it will show through, but it's also going to be cut off right there. That's going to be okay. So let's cover that. I like that. And I'm going to put my glue on here. Nope, I don't want to do that. I started to say I can just go over that little fold, but I don't want to do that. It's hard enough to get this to fold straight without having to have extra papers to go over. And hopefully I got it placed in the right place. Okay, so that will fold over like that so you'll still see the rabbit and you'll see whatever is on the paper behind it here so that's okay we'll go with that and i'm going to make sure that i press this down well okay now remember we don't have to cover this so you can go ahead any part that you don't have to cover go ahead and put a little x on it if you want and that way it's a little bit easier to remember i think I think, I think, I will put this over here. And that may be upside down, but I think I want to do it that way anyway. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to try to put my art glitter glue here. I, when I get close to that window, I'm bad about getting it on the window. And I don't want to do that. Oops. See if I can keep from going over too far. Yeah, that'll work. I'm just going to clip this off. You could fold it around if you want. fold that around that part so what are you guys up to today I hope everybody is well and not sick and having fun it's can you believe it's getting warmer and warmer or at least here it is I don't know about where you live but we've got warm warm weather right now And Brandon reminded me today that we changed the clocks back this weekend. That blew my mind. I said, what? And he said, yeah. The clocks get changed back. Now, I'm going to look through some of this paper. This is what I got from Timo. And I thought I'd look through some of this instead of having to cut up all of my digitals. Look how well that matches. But I had no idea that the clocks changed back this weekend. I mean, I'm just, I'm out of it when it comes to things lately. I can't remember anything. Oh, look at that. I cut that way too short. Edith, that was silly, silly, silly. Let's just put it up here. Yeah, I have trouble remembering things. I have trouble remembering my dates. The other day, I kept telling them that it was February, and he, they said, no, Mother, it is March already. I said, no, it is February. Melina said, okay, it's time for the nursing home. I said, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> oh, 
Alicia said, should we take your license away from you? And I said, uh, no. Not unless you want to come over and take me to the dollar store every time I want to go. She's like, forget it. Okay, I think we can fold that around. Let's tear it off just a little bit. If I can without messing it up. Yeah, they're real anxious to do something like that until I say, yeah, well, you can just come over and drive me everywhere. And then they're like, no, that never mind, never mind. Nah, they wouldn't put me in a nursing home, I don't think. If they do, I'll haunt them forever. Okay. Now, that's not, I've cut it off too short now, so I'm just going to, or I've tore it off too short, so I'm just going to cut it. No use in it being extra bulk there. My kids are a mess. They really, really are. Aaron was here today and working and he said, no, no, I'm really tired. And he never complains about being tired. Never. And I said, but why are you so tired? And he said, it's been a very busy weekend. <laughs> they had like five singings this weekend. And uh, so he was tired. Because when he goes to, to sing, he puts everything into it. I said, well, you can rest if you want to. You don't have to do everything today. He said, I think I will rest a little while anyway. And that's just not like Aaron, because he's usually gung-ho for everything and goes 90 to nothing. Never slows down. But he did today. Okay, let's see. I'm still going to make sure that's going to fold okay. And I think it is. It's just I'm just going to have to wait till the glue dries impatiently. We need a piece right here, then we have to cover that side. That's not big enough, and that's not big enough. Let's see what else we've got over here. I like using my little bitty scraps if I can. And they don't have to be from the same collection, just as long as they go pretty well. That doesn't look too bad on there. And we can put a label or something there and we're good. And I may put my labels and things on later. So I need to cover this. I think we'll just tear a piece of that. See about how wide that is. Okay. All right, let's put that down through there. Now, you can just make all yours and not decorate them. I think um, Rachel said that. You can just make them up and leave them for when you're going to put them in the journal. I'm going ahead and decorating mine because I know what journal they're going to go in. I'm going to go in the journal with this collection. Oh, I need to slide that up a little. got I think three Easter journals going so I wanted to make some ephemera for them because I don't have any ephemera made so far okay then we need to cover here and here and here so again I'm just gonna reach for some of that other paper 
the little scraps that I have here. I know collaging and things like that take a lot longer, but I, I like them. I like to do it. I don't mind. I feel like I am doing something when I'm using up my scraps. <laughs> okay. We're going to let that go. It's a little bit short, but I can just bring that other piece down a little bit longer. And of course, her paper's not scraps. I'm not saying that. I'm just, these little pieces are. And I'm using those up. And I'm putting glue everywhere. I'm, you know I'm a wild gluer. I'm, over, I'm not an overachiever. I'm an over gluer. Oops, I need to pull that down a little bit. There we go. That's better. So it's not seen on the other side. That's something I failed to check on that other one. And let's put that little piece up there. So, Miss Brooklyn is all excited now about doing a journal with me. So, we're going to take a day, probably a Saturday, and we're going to make a journal and share it with you guys. She said, everybody wants us to do a journal, and I said, so let's get started. Which, she works on a little journal that she has at home that I gave her. She works on that a lot, but uh, she wants to do one from start to finish, so I think that's what we're going to do. I told her we would do it. I'm just going to put that down through there. It's got some of that. Oh no, I can't because i got to go all the way down. Never mind. Let's find another piece. I could just put another little scrap in there at the bottom, but I, I want to go all the way with it. So again, I'm going to... No, those are not going to be long enough either. I'm going to have to use a piece of this. So, you know, I'm just trying to save this paper, and I don't know why I can print it again. But that's me. Wait, there's my... Okay, about, okay. I just feel like I can't print it again, I guess. I'm trying to save it. All right, that will work. And I'm going to do, there we go, less flowers. Since we have a lot of flowers over here. But the ones for the journal, I'll print on the back of them. I didn't print on the back of these intentionally because I knew I was going to be using them for this. Let's see, move it over some, move it over some before it sticks. And there we go. Okay, so there we go. Got that finished. I like that. And then our little rabbit, when that is folded, and I'm not going to fold it. I, I say I'm not going to. I am. I'm going to fold it. Why do I even say that? You know, I can't wait. I need to trim that off right there anyway. If I do have some paper that puckers up or whatever, I can trim that off. That'd be good. So you see, we got our little tiny rabbit showing there. And I'm going to round the corners again because I like that part. And then I'll put a little bit of ink around the edges. 
and basically this one will be finished unless we want to put some labels on it and I'll do that later. I can always do that when I start to put it in my journal. Oh, we need to punch our little pull there. See, I do have some little, a little lump right there, but I just take my tool and press it down real well, and it's fine. I don't worry about small details. Okay. So there is a second one. I love that. Okay, I actually did one more while I was I was waiting on my camera to I forgot to charge my battery so I was waiting on it to charge and I went ahead and done another one but it's the same way same thing as I did the other one the only thing I did was I put I cut out one of her fussy cuts and this is the her fussy cuts for Easter I went ahead and cut that out that flower and put it right there I did think that I put that paper upside down so one of the reasons I did that and I know I put this one upside down the writing's upside down but I don't I don't care that doesn't bother me so that is that one there is that one with a little rabbit I did put numbers on some of them and then there is that one so we got three done so that's great and I will have you some close-up shots of them at the end. And don't forget to go down below and go over and check out Rachel's channel. Watch her video and go over and check out her Etsy store. She has some be beautiful digitals. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.